Yeah, I dude, I totally, I totally that. agree. If you could pick one of your like one of your songs that when when you when you like you just want so- to be remembered by that one song out of all the songs you've released. Um, yeah. What's your top song? Yeah, that's a hard one. I got a lot of like crazy. Yeah. I would say out of all of them. I say probably Devil Wears Thrasher, cause like yeah. at that at that time I was going through like a lot of shit and I was going through like a lot of like inner pain and I feel like in that song I really like sh- like really broadcasted that like yeah, damn like, bro. just off the first words like when I was like um I I was like shouts out to my niggas going through it I will get you out of this like I was like I was just like feeling like everybody was going through it with me and I'm just like. We all gonna get out of this. And then, yeah. like, when I made that song and like that shit just started going crazy, I'm like, yeah, like the shit is like people are feeling it. Like, dab, dude. That's that's real, dude. That's what rap's about. Mm-hmm. Here. Like, yeah. yeah, dude. Is is Thrasher your actual favorite brand though? Because I see you drip down in the palace, bro. I feel yeah, like you yeah, upgraded yeah. past no, this yeah, shit. I always keep Thrasher. I, I, I'm actually really? like, I'm, yeah. like a, I'm like a Thrasher collector. Like I got real Thrasher. Like. I got Thrasher, like, from years ago and shit like that. Like, my first Thrasher tee was a Thrasher, um, freaking Thrasher, um, Andy Warhol tribute. Like, I feel that. And that shit was just, like, I remember when I was, like, first walking around with it, people was just like, yo, whoa, that shit is crazy, bro. And then, like, I'm looking back now, and that was years ago. Like, it was a gift to me from Christmas from somebody. And, like, I'm and like I'm looking back at it, and I'm like, you're never going to see this shit again. Like, that's one thing that's cool about Thrasher. But now it's not happening no more because of all the hype be shit. So I don't be, like too on it like every drop and shit like that but like before there was thrasher shirts that drop and you're not going to see them ever again it's never going to come out again and the chances of somebody selling it is slim to none because skaters are skaters and they're going to rock the shirt that they love and they're going to fucking rip the shit out of it and like it's just gone it's, it's yeah crazy. yeah that's true dude talk to me a little bit about fashion bro like what are your top brands you'd say um, this fashion maybe, shit's gotten big like the intersection of uh, rap yeah. and fashion Oh, it, yeah. it was always there. Don't get me wrong. It's always been a thing, but I feel like more recently, there's. It's not just the traditional luxury houses like it used to be in the '90s. Now yeah. there's like Supreme. There's Palace. There's all shouts out to the DIY people. people. Yeah, the like, shouts out to the people that's being themselves. Like that's what it's really coming to. Like my favorite brands is like Vivian Westwood. I fuck with um sicko. I fuck with. I fuck with Off White. I fuck with um. It's this new shit coming up called Hot Sexy Model. Hell yeah! This is gonna be crazy. What a name. Um. Just a bunch of different shit. Like I fuck with Jeremy Scott. Heavy, 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 heavy. Like, I love Jeremy Scott. Freaking um. Just a bunch of a bunch of shit. Yeah. Like my bro that made yeah. these jeans, his name is um Steven Strictly Dope. Shouts out them. I fuck with them. I fuck with Trip a lot. Freaking um it's just a bunch of shit. Like yeah. I fuck with whatever is like if I like cause there's a lot of shit I'm probably missing that I got. Like even these shoes like Keegan Hoffman, like he goes crazy and shit like that. Like Yeah. Freaking, um, I, I feel like not it's not just intersection of rap and and fashion there's also like fashion and skateboarding oh, has yeah. become oh, bigger yeah. i feel like fashion is like i use fashion as my emotions like if i'm really angry or if i want to give off an angry presence i could wear a suit that gives off an angry presence that like when people look at me they're just like all right yeah like don't talk to that guy like he doesn't like he's having a good day and then i could wear something that's like totally bright and like happy and this just looks like oh he's like the happiest guy on the planet right now like like it's just like i use it like to showcase how i'm feeling and shit yeah like i assume you skateboard you do you are in some of your video where do you get your where do you get the name from just like heel flip is it just through boarding or is there, um, yeah, is there a deeper meaning because like at the time so but my name was pharaoh before and i was just like when when i was rapping because i was like super into like egyptian and sh- Egyptians yeah. and shit like that and then um I was thinking, I'm like, yo, I want to change my name. And, like, I was like, but I want to change my name to something that, like, when people hear it, like, it's, like, it kind of drags them. Like, it, it drags them to, to, I'm like, to my name type shit. Like, it just can't be, like, non-normal type shit. And then I was just thinking, I'm like, yo, what do I do a lot? 
and I'm just like I I skate a lot like cause I, at that time I had to skate and everything if I had to go to work I'm skating to work <laughs> if I'm skating back and me and my friends we used to all like for some reason when we're, when I'll get a job I'll bring all my friends in and then we would have like death races back to the back to like at my house to smoke and shit like that so we'd be thrashing everywhere all my friends skated like so I was like yeah I skate a lot and like I loved hill flips like and it was like this it was like this little stereotype that we used to say like black people could always do hill flips good and, and like white people could always do <laughs> kick flips good cause like every black skater always had some Debo ass hill flips at that time like <laughs> so like I had Debo ass hill flips and shit like I was hill flipping everything so yeah. I was just like fuck it young hill flip and then like once I did it and I uploaded like the first song under it and shit shit just started going and I'm just like I like they fuck with it cause like in my raps before I was already talking about skating cause like I was skating a lot so I'm just like yeah I'm just gonna incorporate that shit way much more now like and just yeah. keep doing it yeah I feel like skateboarding and rap just go hand in hand with the whole uh, ever since odd future you know what i mean like yeah. even before that like Lil wayne and you'll shit be, you'll be listening like when you're skating you have like a playlist of like shit that like that puts you in a zone like i remember skating like and just bumping like any like any vibe of music that i was into i would bump a certain song and it would put me in the zone so it's like that shit always go hand in hand like in every skater video there's music behind it like there's music on the montage and shit like yeah that, so like, that's true that's that true is just always like always incorporated but like even like i fuck with our future heavy i was bumping like earl a lot and like freaking domo genesis and shit like that when i was skating and shit and like even bands and shit like that and just other music and shit people like pharrell and shit like that what what about the long island like underground rappers i'm talking about people like zillikami like oh yeah yeah, yeah. no shout out to them too like freaking um zilla like cameron i seen them like I used to chill with Cam a lot and shit like that. We did shows together and shit like that. Freaking um, Zilla, we had talked like on Instagram and shit like that. I never actually met Zilla, but I was I chilled with Sauce a yeah. couple of times. I've been in a couple of Sauce videos. No cap, like, <laughs> there's a couple of them you can find me in the camera. Look hard enough. Dude, uh, what about Burncast, dude? What's the uh, yo free Burncast, bro? <laughs> yo, shouts out to him, bro. Burn Burncast is a crazy ass rapper from Long Island. I don't know if he's initially from Long Island. I don't, I, yeah. As far as I know, he's from Long Island and shit. I met up with him like some years back, like before he had got um, fucking locked up and shit like that. We did some music and shit. But he's been like, before he even got locked up, he was just putting on crazy, like just doing back to back crazy shit, dropping crazy songs, crazy videos, him and um, Drown Millie and shit like that. It's crazy because I remember one day randomly in the summer, like, I was like, um, I was just like drunk one day and I was just thinking about that nigga. I was like, damn, bro, this nigga's really locked up. And I just like sent his boy like a hundred to like send, like send to yeah. him and shit like that. I was just like, yeah, bro, like just give that shit to that nigga, bro. But free burn cows, bro. Yeah. Like, that that like, shit's crazy, man. Like it, it's just, it's wild. Who do you kind of think started this like kind of like mosh type rap movement in, in new york i guess la every city has it but i feel like yeah. i feel in like there's new something york, new york about it like it started me, here to me I flatfoot feel like, zombies I, city morgue me, like, all these I guys it is like i was listening to people like such hollow water boys and like shit like that like and then i would hear like when i first heard like bone scream on vocals i was like oh all right like so this shit could be done on these type of beats like because like i <laughs> with metal a lot but i never knew how to incorporate it so then i started yeah. fucking around and shit like that and then i was doing it at shows and shit but like i didn't know of no other artists at the time that was doing it like i was just doing it at shows and people was fuck with it then i discovered like people like Zilla and cam and shit like that but they was already they already had songs out and shit like that but they wasn't doing like shows in their city type shit but like then i was like oh shit so there's actually like a wave of this shit going mm -hmm. on and then you had like xxx and shit like that with his aggressive songs and shit like that so i was like wait like what about uh takashi 69 in terms of his his contribution yeah before, yeah, yeah before before he turned to like the gangster shit he definitely was yeah. doing that shit yeah, that people forget like, about that yeah, shit, man. It's crazy how people. Yeah, I almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah. That's some New York shit. Because if you if you really are from like OT, you probably don't know that he used to like be this more underground yeah, yeah, SoundCloud yeah, 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 yeah. rapper. The crazy like, thing is like a, a bunch of people was definitely fucking like before he switched up on on Zilla, whatever they went through and shit like that. Like people was fucking with that shit. I didn't know of him until after the whole switch up and shit. And then it's like the like it, it came with a grain of salt and shit like that. So I was yeah. like, oh all right like it's like it's not right, like <laughs> type shit but like the shit that they made that him and zilla did but you gotta remember the shit that him and zilla did zilla wrote for him so it's like yeah like, yeah 
it's kind of like him just doing everything for him. He just needed a second entity for it. Like, so, like, that's yeah. what it was. So I'm just like, all right, like, when you look at it that way, you're like, all right, the guy, like, he's a good image. Like, like he said to himself, he's going to do whatever it takes to be famous type shit. So, like, he knew how to push himself. But, like, yeah, it's crazy. He definitely was a part of that shit. But, like, I said, like, I was doing that shit and didn't know of these people at first. So, like, I was going to shows and just doing my shit and then i discovered that these people are doing that shit i'm just like oh shit this shit is fine mm-hmm. type shit like, yeah yeah dude getting to the last last like couple of questions you mentioned like knowing people out in europe and stuff dude how do you get linked up with blackwood records because i feel cra- like they're ma- they're european <laughs> or yo, am i making that shit up shouts out to them bro the crazy thing is they're um they're from Cheswick. i don't yeah. know if i'm pronouncing it right but they're from Slovakia. yeah yeah, um, yeah. Crazy thing is one of my best friends from um school is Slovakian. So like when I when I did a song with one of the people over there, when I showed him the song, he showed it to his father. Is that like, Psycho uh um, Psycho Flip? Rhyme, yeah, yeah, Psycho yeah. Rhyme. Psycho Rhyme. Psycho, yeah. Psycho yeah. Flip is the Psycho song. Flip, yeah. Yeah. So like what happened was like I don't, I like I don't even remember exactly how it happened, but basically Psycho Rhyme fucked with me and like we was, I was like, Yeah, I fuck with you too. And then we just started like talking about doing a song, but he doesn't speak English and I don't yeah. speak Slovakian. So like we just translating and we just like, ah right, yeah, let's do a song type shit. And I always wanted to do some shit like that because I'm like, that's cool as fuck, like having a whole different language rapper like on a song, like that's fire. So like we's like, so, right, so. like we's like, um so like in the midst of us doing a song, I was already like just doing my own videos and the their label hit me up. It was just like, yo, bro, like um if you got any videos that you want to drop, you could just drop it through us, like we, we don't mind type shit. We'll give you a cut type shit. And I'm just like, I bet. So, like, people, it's funny because, like, people out there, and when I first dropped my first video on it, they, people, some people was fucking with it, but there was a lot of people like, what the fuck? Like, what is this? <laughs> and, like, then it started growing and shit like that. And then, like, people thought I was signed to them. And I'm like, nah, I'm not signed to them. Like, they just generally <laughs> fuck with it. Like, that would be the funniest shit, like shit. Like, it's crazy because before COVID happened, like, I was supposed to go out there and do, like, a whole little tour run with them and shit like that. So and, do you have some fans on Instagram shit from, from there? Yeah, a lot of my people, um, a lot of my beat producers are from over there. Like, from, like, Ukraine, from Russia, from, like, over there. Like, they got the best beat producers. I'm not going to hold you. Like, a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of, like, my new shit that gets produced is from a lot of people from that side. I feel that. I feel that. Okay, last last two questions. How do you think like the underground rap scene since you started rapping a few years ago has changed? Do you think it's changed a lot? Do you think it's grown? A lot of, a lot of people are making better music, good music. When I first started doing the raid shit and I started seeing how it started getting populated with a lot of people, a lot of people was not sounding good. Like I was just like I would go to shows and be like, "Nah, this is ass. This is ass." <laughs> and then now when I go to shows, it's like this is fire this is fire like the last show i did everybody was fire like everybody was fire did they think it was good music and i was like yo this is like i feel like i'm in like an era right now like a, a golden era of this shit with like with the underground shit because you got people coming in doing rage people coming in doing auto-tune just rapping, yeah and it all giving off energy like yo let's mosh to it let's all get buck to it like so it's just crazy it's crazy <laughs> i feel that i feel that no I, I i i i'm on board with that i agree i agree the quality has definitely gotten better mm-hmm. um what are your kind of next plans with music you got visuals dropping you got some I got net crack dropping on all platforms tomorrow but by the time this interview will come out it'd be yeah out. um the visual for that is gonna drop saturday are you doing it on your own page um I don't, I'm trying to find a page, Yeah. but if I don't, I'll just drop it on my own. Um, then I got like, I got, I'm opening up for um, Slump 6 on March 27th. Oh, shit. Um, more shows coming, more videos coming, more music coming. I'm probably not going to drop a tape for a while. I'm really focused on doing a lot of singles. So like, I'm going to be dropping a lot, a lot, a lot of singles and videos. Like, it's, it's probably going to be nothing but videos, like nothing but videos. I feel that. I feel that. And then this is like one last question. How do you how do you think like artists kind of break out from just being an underground artist to being something like bigger? Cuz yeah. I feel like I feel yeah. like so many artists are like talented like you and you're like just I don't know right like there, right? Yeah. Like, but yo, that's it's so hard to break through so that crazy. ceiling. Like literally 2 days ago me and my bro was talking about this like I was just talking to him like sometimes like I just go, like, if I'm chilling with my bros, I just, like, we just go off and I just start ranting, like, about a lot of shit. And I'm just like, yo, like, 
this year I got a break from that like New York underground to like worldly underground. Like that's how I would put it. Like it's like you could be underground in your city and then it's like I want to break into the like world underground where it's like like I right, for instance I would say like during the 2017 16 like Playboy Cardi, Lil Pump, yeah. Smoke Perp, Ski Mask, X and all them was like worldly underground. Like it was like you you could be underground in your city, but if you like in the loop of that, like yeah, in that that sense, and like now it's like I feel like that's what I have to do this year. Like I have to break into that worldly yeah. underground. Like hell yeah. But like I the advice I would give is like just come up with a strategy and be and be consistent and keep doing it. Like if you got a sound. That people are fucking with it, keep hitting that fucking nail in the corner. Yeah. Keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it. And then that shit's gonna blow up. Like, I feel it. It's bound to. Hard work always pays off. I feel that. All right, man. This is it. Open mic. You can say whatever you want, Mike. This is it. Facts, yo. Everybody, be themselves. New shit coming. Neck crack. Yeah. New videos. New everything. And shout out Steven for these jeans because these shits are crazy fire. <laughs> <laughs> my life's ruled out by bad habits. You just a rat loose in my lab, causing me mad. Have you sad bastard? I sit back, laughing at stack cabbage. While your tracks is taking the lack away from my last track list. Bitch, I'm on grind. I'm a skater. Don't get hit with the laser. Get this storm with the taser. One light spark with the flares. Sturbing out all the neighbors. Got niggas that's like soda when situations get shaked up. Ditch, Tijuana. You said it's always empty, totally secret. Got gas money.